Updates here for Halo for the MCC and Halo 5 with the removal of Halo 2 Classic Team Arena in the MCC, the addition of Action Sack to MCC, as well as a free for all and team doubles refresh for Halo 5. Stay tuned throughout the video to understand all the details. How's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news informational video about Halo and the MCC with a little bit of Halo 5 mixed in there as well. If you want to stay update with anything going on with the channel or Halo 5, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell because we all know sub boxes can be kind of weird at times if you enjoyed this video and found it informational please make sure to tap that like button as well as me know you want to see some more content like this and if you like enjoyed this video or have something to talk about leave it in the comment section down below i do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well so let's get right into the video here now we have talked a lot about the mcc on this channel but we haven't really talked a whole lot about halo 5 so let's start with halo 5 and then move over to the mcc here we actually had a season reset for halo 5 so if you guys want to regrind your ranks now is the time to do it i always enjoy when a new season comes around it helps me kind of hit that refresh button i'm going like yeah i'm kind of stuck at this rank and i don't really like it maybe if i try something different i can get something else better next season so it's always a good addition i think with m with with halo 5 that you'll be able to basically every three or four months be able to change you know hit that refresh button on your rank and get to some you know try out something new and give yourself some new challenges then so you can keep playing the game but not only did they reset the ranks they also get a refresh of the map playlist for free for all and the maps that they added in were echelon furnace seclusion and white cell now oftentimes for these free-for-all maps they generally mix up the power weapons and power up location and weapon spawns as well as free-for-all plays a lot differently than say your team slayer matches or your hcs matches or your social games as well where a lot of these maps came from and they implemented them into free-for-all so now's a great time to kind of get the edge on everybody else and start grinding out the free-for-all playlist understand those new maps probably be best to actually just kind of jump in some custom games walk around understand what the maps are like in free-for-all so you can dominate because knowledge is power when it comes to halo 5. there was also a refresh for team doubles in halo 5 where they changed a lot of things on the map because it's coliseum a lot of things on eden molten plaza and the rig too many changes for me to go into this video if you guys want to check out all the little details with that stuff link is in the description down below to the halo waypoint post but essentially just kind of know that a lot of things were changed just for team doubles as to make the game modes play a little bit better also keep in mind at the moment everybody we have halo 3 classic throwback triple team as the social playlist to play right now so get a chance to kind of jump in play your those games right there the feature playlists are triple team and also team doubles when it comes to earning your xp as we all know featured xp featured playlists in halo 5 grant more experience points so if you're still trying to grind for that 152 those are the playlists to play now to the mcc news as we all know that there was a recently a patch coming in for the mcc a little bit of an update right here if you do notice when you jump into the game it reverted back to the old menu look no longer the snowy warhog in the middle of the field which honestly was probably my favorite background i've seen for the mcc i'm kind of sad to see it go to be honest i love that background i use it in many of my videos as you guys know but sadly all good things must come to an end and they revert back to the original update of the mcc with the uh, classic little ring background with some plants it still looks beautiful don't get me wrong just i kind of miss that warhog man it looked pretty awesome. So let's get right into the update here. Uh, there are some adjustments to social and competitive game modes in the MCC. Now keep in mind this update is probably rather small, but that's only just because we have this big announcement for the MCC coming at the South by Southwest event in Austin, which I will actually be at and attending. So if you guys want to meet up or say hi, feel free. They'll come by and say hi to me guys it'd be awesome to get a chance to meet some of you in person but let's get into the information here like i mentioned there was the title update with the menu and so we have also some matchmaking changes as well where ce actually got some action sack playlists which we have team muskets which is kind of like swat with just shotguns with a little bit more health team rain which is basically it's kind of like if you remember regicide from halo 4 they basically put that in they also added in rocket ball which kind of lends itself to an obvious statement of rocket ball is rockets with oddball pretty much <laughs> now for the competitive side of things that uh, actually 343 has decided to remove the halo 2 classic team arena playlist which is one the one of two ranked playlists for halo 2 and honestly i kind of agree with this to be honest just because 
I feel like if you're going to go into ranked modes in the MCC, you probably want to play the truly competitive versions of that because you can play the exact same thing in the Match Composer. And I feel like if you're not playing like the MLG settings when it comes to uh, Halo 2 or Halo 1 or Halo 3, Halo 3 or whatever, that it's almost a rather redundant kind of playlist where it's not really suited for very well balanced game modes like the uh, hardcore playlists are. That's why they were removing the Halo 2 Classic Team Arena playlist. But uh, don't worry guys, because you'll still be able to play that in the Match Composer as well as same exact settings, just they won't be ranked anymore. Uh, a little bit of a change here as well, that the Betrayal and Suicide penalties have been disabled in the hardcore playlist. Now when I first heard this, I'm like... Okay, it's kind of leaving room for trolling right there, but I do believe that uh, when I mean by penalties as in the spawn timers and not the fact that if you keep killing your teammates, you, you, you can still get booted. I believe it's a little bit of a different system there. Uh, Halo 2 Anniversary Team Arena is, is replaced with Halo 2 Anniversary Team Hardcore. Again, I'm all for that. I think that having a Team Arena and a Team Hardcore plays of the same game is rather redundant and it really hurts matchmaking times. Uh, from my experience playing Halo 3 and trying to play the Halo 3 Hardcore playlist at any time beyond like 9 o'clock, really hard to find matches. And I'd rather see the Team Arena of Halo 3 get moved, get kind of taken out and leaving just the only Halo 3 ranked mode is the Hardcore playlist, which I think is how the MCC should move forward. So yeah, that's the update, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the changes to Halo 5 and the MCC. If you're new to this channel or miss any content from me, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell because we all know sub boxes can be kind of weird at times. And if you miss any content for me, check out the videos on the screen right now. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.